This was a fun recipe. It was easy to make. And look at that deliciousness. Look at all of that deliciousness. Well guys, I truly, truly, truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and eat a little bit. I don't have a huge appetite, but. Mm. Mm. Because I am gonna share my journey with you, my keto journey. I'm gonna share my experiences with you. And I'm just glad you guys are here for the ride. I really, really am. Um, so. <clears throat> camera a little bit boo. Here they go. That's said a quick prayer. All right. Amen. Okay, y'all. I'm going in. I'm going in for the squash. Woo! It's sizzling hot. Sheesh. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. Look like spaghetti noodles. Mm. Look at that meatball. Mm. Mm -hmm. I gotta go back in for more of that pasta. Hey everybody. What's up, my Texas Tees? It's your girl, Trika, and I am back with another video. Guys, today, um, <clears throat> I am going to show you how to make a keto-friendly spaghetti and pasta using this bad boy right here. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That's This is a sp spaghetti squash. And what I'm gonna do, if the squash does not embarrass me, I'm gonna go ahead and open it and cut it. My husband will have one side, I will have one side. My husband's not crazy about doing trying this spaghetti squash. I haven't tried it before, but I'm gonna try it today because it's probably good, but because you guys know that I'm on a serious keto journey. I'm gonna keep it going. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this spaghetti squash open and I'm gonna get it in my oven. I have my oven preheating at 450 degrees. I'm gonna open this bad boy, gut it out, get it in the oven for about 40 minutes, and we're gonna go from there. So, all right, y'all, I'm gonna see if I can get this daggone thing open. And if I can't open it on screen, I'm turning off this dang camera. I was told to start. Wait a minute, let me get another knife. That ain't gonna work. I should have had my dad and husband open this dang old thing before he left. Yeah, I know the trick is to get it in there and to get it started and work your way through. So 
I may want to cut in there. I don't want y'all to see me fight the squash, so I'm gonna come back when it gets open. How about that? Okay, guys, I don't know if I'm supposed to take this out. I don't think it's really going to hurt much if I don't, but I've gutted them out. Okay, there you are, my two spaghetti squash. I've gutted them out. And I've kept my seeds for later. Guys, my cabinet is junky, so forgive me, but most of these, most of the stuff on my cabinet is my ingredients. For my squash so yeah after i get this in the oven i'm gonna come back and we're gonna work on work on the sauce so there it is i'm gonna take just some olive oil i have two little bottles because y'all i go through olive oil a lot and then now with this keto frenzy that i'm on child, let me tell y'all something i go through a lot of olive oil okay i'm just gonna olive oil them up like so that's pretty good. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lightly season them. I have um, some sea salt. I did buy some Himalayan pink salt because I know that that's great, great, great on um, this diet. I may drop a little bit in my sauce, but I'm gonna put some salt. Just give this just a little table. I mean, a little flavor. Turn this way so y'all can see it. We're gonna put a little salt, a little sea salt. So I put a little salt and I put a little pepper. And I have my dish. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take these. I'm gonna face these down in my dish. I'm gonna add just a little, I'm gonna put some oil in my hand and I'm gonna rub it just to add it to the top a little bit. Keep this nice and firm and crispy. And more seeds. All of those amazing things. And I'm just gonna add just a little water. I have my little cup over here. Just to help the cooking process, I'm just gonna add a little water. And I'm gonna go take these babies and plop them in my oven on 300, on 400, did I say, I think it's 450, for about 40 minutes. So once I get these in the oven, I will come back and show you how we're going to prep the spaghetti sauce. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I had to just take a minute and get the things prepped that I needed uh, for my for my keto-friendly spaghetti sauce, okay? So in this bowl here, I have <clears throat> some frozen uh, red peppers, bell peppers, green peppers, and some onions. I went ahead and let Kroger's uh, do the job in their frozen food section. And uh, they have a brand that they call Ready Recipe or something. I went ahead and let them do the honors for me because if somebody gonna cut up this, why should I? I have some frozen meatballs. I would normally make my meatballs from scratch, but I know what these meatballs are. No sugars, none of that stuff that I can't have. I'm gonna go ahead and just add that for extra flavor to my sauce. I have a half of a half of a chopped onion because in this mixture there's also onions in the frozen mixture. I have some mushrooms. I, that's me. I added a little flair with the mushrooms. I love garlic. I have four garlic cloves that's, that are minced. I have some Sazon Goya. Y'all, this is lit. 
Okay, I have crushed red peppers, I have parsley, I have, of course, salt and pepper, I have basil leaves, oregano, some garlic that I'm adding, and Simply True Organic Crushed Tomatoes. I do the one with no salt. Since I'm going to add the ingredients, I get the one with no salt. Um, I have my Italian style blend shredded cheddar cheese. I live by this on keto now. It's granulated. It has no calories. It's stevia. I may be saying it wrong. I don't know. There's no carbs, no sugar, no calories. It's amazing. I need that. And I need some red wine vinegar. <clears throat> so what I have done, I just took it off since I was over there talking. I have a, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a skillet going with some bacon drippings. And y'all, I love this pot. This ain't my best pot. My son actually has my best pot that I like to, I mean, skillet that I cook with. But his little ass asked for it. He have not given it back yet. But this is a good pot. What I'm going to do is start the process for the meatballs. I'm going to go ahead and when this grease heats up, it's probably already hot. I'm going to go ahead and add <clears throat> the uh, meatballs in here. I'm going to let them cook some and then I'm going to take them out. I'll build the tomato sauce and then of course while I'm trying to do my video y'all my uh, alarm goes off. Hold tight. I'm back. Alright so yeah after I build that then I'll take them out and then I'll go ahead and start with what I'm doing boo. So right now I'm just going to take, take these meatballs and add them to the skillet. I'm gonna let, I just need them to heat up some because the meat sauce is going to cook them all the way. I'm dropping them because I don't want this stuff to come back and bite me. Alright guys, I am back and I am ready. I've taken out the meatballs. I just wanted to get them heated a little bit. Don't they those look good? I can't wait to eat them. So what I'm going to do now is get started on my sauce. Um, I have some extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put it in my pan here. <clears throat> and I'm going to let it heat up. Man, I should have made sure I took my pot from my son. It may look like a lot, guys, but it's really, really not a whole lot because I have, you know, veggies. I have my frozen veggies that I need to put in. I have some things I need to put in the... Um, and the sauce, so I'm gonna have to keep doing this to my pan. It's one of my favorites, you know, these old faithfuls are good, but it's not the one I wanted. My son has my skillet. All right. That's the bell pepper. This is the additional onion that I want just to give it a little more pungent, pungent flavor. I'm gonna get this going just a little bit before I add my actual garlic. Cause garlic, we don't want garlic to burn. So I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> Just gonna take a peek. Oh, they get nice and soft. Oh my gosh, yes. Those spaghetti squash look good, y'all. Cook a little bit. Go ahead and add my garlic. that going pretty good <clears throat> and once all of my ingredients sweat together I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients
I'm gonna go in with my can of crushed tomatoes, no salt. Remember no salt because you're actually gonna add your salt. And this, or I got the organic brand because it only has 20 calories. There's zero calories from fat. Um, zero cholesterol, only 20% of sodium, which is about 1% of this can. Um, <clears throat> total carbs is four grams, which is about 1%. And about two grams of sugar, which on keto, of course, you know, sugar is a big no-no, but the best ones to go with is the organic brands. So I go ahead, I'm gonna add that into my mixture. Y'all, if, oh shit, that burned me. If y'all could smell this, yo, yo. It smells amazing. I got all of that in there, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. I don't do any measuring. I'm gonna add this whole Sazon in here because I love this stuff. It gives everything an amazing, amazing flavor. I'm gonna add some parsley, but I'm gonna take this top off. Because it ain't gonna act right with the top. I'm gonna turn it down while I'm adding everything and I'll turn it back up to bring it to a boil. I'm gonna add some basil. Yes, and everything, basically about a, a fourth. I, I don't measure, I measure with my eyes. Oregano, I'm sorry y'all, that's, you know, and I guess I need to do better if I'm gonna try to show people how to cook. I guess in the description box, I'll do better with giving you guys measurements. Um, garlic powder, I know I added four cloves of garlic, but I love garlic powder, y'all. Who don't love garlic powder? A few crushed red peppers, I can't put much. But I want a little bite. I know my husband's not gonna want much of a bite, but I gotta have a little bite. And I'm just gonna taste this. Mm -hmm. Remember we used the saltless sauce. So go in with some sea salt. I was gonna use the pink salt, but I decided to just stick with the norm. And some pepper. I love peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mushrooms. This, I live by, no calories, stevia. Y'all, this is really light and really fluffy. I love it, it tastes so good. And I'm gonna put about, I want y'all to see what it looks like. About two. In here. Just to break up everything that's going on with the tomato. You know what, Trika? God dang it, you're always making a mess. Okay, I'm gonna turn my hot water on because I do want to add just a dab, just a dab of water to it before I add the meatballs back. But you gotta taste it every turn, so we'll taste it. Mm. Mm. Being that I'm not on sugars or carbs, Y'all, that stevia just took it up. It gave it a really sweet flavor that I like. But I'm gonna add. It might look like a lot, y'all, but it's not. Trust. A little more salt. Give a quick little taste. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all, that's busting. Now I'm gonna drop these meatballs back. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to add my little water. Just a little bit to loosen up the sauce. Just a little bit. I'm gonna add my meatballs back.
cook them a little bit because it doesn't take long for the sauce. It's only gonna take about 20 minutes for all of the ingredients to marry together. And you will definitely, and you will have your keto spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce is almost no different than my regular homemade spaghetti sauce I made. So you could actually use this recipe if you like just for your regular spaghetti sauce when you uh use noodles yes yeah, get all of that mixed in there get all of them meatballs in there get it all in there y'all with the mushrooms y'all this is gonna be fantastic okay i'm gonna taste it one more time before i just let it be for the next 20 minutes and let it just cook Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, -er. So, y'all, what I'm gonna do, I have everything in there. I'm gonna go, oh, shoot, no, I don't. Guys, I forgot. My couple of drops of red, of uh, red wine vinegar. <clears throat> Use about a tablespoon of this. I'm tripping. This is where the flavor is. My red wine vinegar. I just tripped up. But not no more, boo. Mix that in pretty good. Look at that. Does that not look really, really good, y'all? This looks amazing. All you spaghetti lovers, y'all gotta try it. <clears throat> and just try it on some regular noodles if you don't wanna deal with the uh, spaghetti squash. Just, hey, try it on some regular noodles and see how it flies. So, taste that. Mm -hmm. That vinegar took it up a notch. So guys, I'm gonna Put this on about four to a medium. And I'm gonna go ahead and just let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Yeah, for about, uh, for about, yeah, about 20 minutes. And then I'll come back and show you how to bring the whole meal together. See you soon. Guys, I wanted to come back real quick and show you. I took it out of the oven, it's hot, but it's done. It's really tender. So I'm going to let it cool off and then I'll be back. All right guys, so I am back. <clears throat> they cooled down some, my spaghetti squash. So now I'm actually gonna go in and start shredding them. I hope y'all can see that. <clears throat> go in and start shredding the squash. So, <clears throat> I am going to add a dab more of salt to it, so it'll have a little more flavor when I add the noodles, I mean the uh, sauce. Then I'm going to top it with cheese and put it under the broiler for a few minutes so that the cheese will melt. And there you have it. I'm taking y'all back over so y'all can see the sauce. The sauce looks absolutely beautiful. It's bubbling. I don't want to stir it anymore. I just want to go ahead and let it keep doing its thing. Because in a minute, I'm going to turn it off and we're going to get this spaghetti squash. All right, y'all. I'm back. I am back. Let me get something to put this sauce on so I don't burn up my dang on the counter. I turn the sauce off 
I actually, I had to let it cool off a little bit. Let me turn it that way. Yeah, this will work. I just wanna make sure y'all can see all of it, everything. Yeah, I had to let the sauce cool off a little bit. Let me show y'all. That's it, where it's cooled. And the squash is cool, so now I am going to fill my boats. And then I'm gonna to top it with cheese and we're gonna, I'm gonna put it in the uh, oven and let it go. Okay, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna take just some Italian cheese. And sprinkle it on top, y'all. And guys, I am going to stick this back in the broiler. Woo! Mm. All right, guys. Let me, wait, 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 wait. Let me turn this camera a little bit, boo. Here they go. Here, here they are. My keto friendly spaghetti squash meatball bowls. Look at this, guys. Is that not beautiful? It's so, so hot. So what I want to do now, I want to taste one of them. Yes, that's what I want to do. Oh, it looks so good. This looks amazing, guys. I'm going to put this on this plate. Grab a fork. Look at that. Is that not beautiful, guys? Say a quick, quick prayer. All right. Amen. Okay, y'all. I'm going in. I'm going in for the squash. Whoop, it's sizzling hot. Sheesh. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. Look like spaghetti noodles. I'm going in. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all. Oh, hell no. Y'all. Man, look. Look at that meatball. <clears throat> I gotta go back in for more of that pasta. Mmm. Well, folks, this was a fun recipe. It was easy to make. And look at that deliciousness. Look at all of that deliciousness. Well, guys, I truly, truly, truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and sit down and eat a little bit. I don't have a huge appetite, but... Mmm! Mmm. 
cheese. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the Texas Tea family. I'm Trika. If you're returning to Texas Tea, hey, how you doing? Thank you for coming back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are excited to see more videos like this that I post because I am going to share my journey with you, my keto journey. I'm going to share my experiences with you. And I'm just glad you guys are here for the ride. I really, really am. So, so I'm gonna play up my husband. He should be getting ready to get home. So I will see you guys next time. This is Trika, AKA Texas T, signing off, saying, deuces. My thoughts and my prayers go out to the late, great Kobe Bryant, his wife, Vanessa, his deceased daughter, Gigi, and their other children, as well as to, to the other families that were on, a bo on board that helicopter, as well as the pilot. My heart, my thought goes out to all of their families. Please keep them lifted in prayer. Good night, guys. Thank you.